back from from paint and powder coat i always get the heavy in we got our frame here from sportster don't scratch <laughs> Don't scratch it. Ooh, it's all nice. These guys right? are professional, dude. I don't know that I've ever gotten something back wrapped like no. this nice. It's because they didn't want us to inspect it before we took it's like it. A, it's like a frame condom. Uh, oh, look at that. When in doubt, make it black. What else do we have? I actually don't remember. Nope, just kidding. Just kidding. You have to That's wait. It's pretty dull. Well, if you can't it, cut. It's, it's very dull, is the answer, but at least I have one. That's true. This is. Oh, this is our exhaust hanger. Oh, these aren't very exciting. No, those are production <laughs> exhaust brackets. Those are not exciting. Got our sissy bar here. We just went black. Keep it easy. All black earthing. Mm hmm, mm hmm. That's cool. Great. Last time it was it was Jared. Now it's Logan. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Should but we? Wait, uh, there's more. Unload this new lathe. Let's do it. Are you <laughs> are you hiding? <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> take take Get it the long way. It. Well, I mean, if you don't want to be YouTube, Travis, that's your prerogative. <laughs> I'm not sure it's big enough. You know, in COVID times, it's pretty hard to find shit like this right that's now. That's true. So I'm feeling. I'm feeling pretty good, Seth. Pretty happy with your pretty purchase. Pretty happy with my purchase. It would have been cooler if you came back with that $2,200 Ford Transit as well, yes. though. Trying to scoop a little van, parts runner. By the time I drove down there, an hour later, he called to say he already sold it. So. He gone. That was gone. Gone. There's no way we're going to be able to reach. We run into this problem a lot because we try to do shit we shouldn't be doing with the tools we have available. Yeah. I mean, we're not even going to get close. I mean, do you have the fork extend us? Hit the extension button. Extension! <laughs> got it. There you go. There you go. Paul! Pretty sure this is an OSHA training video of what not to do. No, 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 no. Operating forklifts and any powered industrial truck is an important job. Use the knowledge and skills presented in this video to operate forklifts in a professional and safe manner. Always maintain a safe speed. If the load obstructs your view, drive in reverse. Do not give rides to others. Be especially cautious not to place your hands in areas of moving parts. I know. I blame you for that. Equipment inspection should be done. An inspection checklist form should be used. Seat belts must be worn. Lift it up! Watch your dicks. Beep, beep, Later. beep, beep. This is what we're going from. <laughs> Made a, a slight size upgrade. Got the, the old trusty jet here, bench top unit. It's got a lubrication chart. Yeah, it's got a, a year uh, somewhere, doesn't first it? First spot to lube here says Seth's butthole. <laughs> are we gonna finish this one or are we just gonna okay. go to the next one? Which one's further away? I mean, that's a silly question, obviously. <laughs> this one is a lot closer. It does look like this one that, that has nothing put on it the main would problem, be quicker. Well, my real issue is that I have to cut that chain. I see. And I don't I remember that. ever want to do that. You know what we do need is a battery, because our battery doesn't fit in the battery hole. That's what she said. Yeah, but we can hang can exhaust. Can we get any of those? Because there's no batteries available. No, there's no batteries. The no. So we have to make a bigger hole because that battery just has to be used. Could we make a battery? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> girls. We should have waited before and after like the Girls. <sighs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even professionals such as us sometimes forget to drill holes prior to powder coat. So we can do a little bit of a little bit of magic. A little bit of after after the fact. Drilling, we've got a, forgot a couple strategic holes for our, our internal wiring, but uh, you too can learn from our mistakes. So clearly at some point someone has changed this rocker box gasket while it was in the bike. It, <laughs> it struggled a little oh, with the... Uh, it's a little stripped out. This just feels like it should be through there by now. 
I think we might be going through the slug. Oh, Remy's helping. Nailed it. Through? Mm -hmm. Now I just have to make it bigger. Now he just has to make it bigger. So this is a good point to address changing your rocker box gaskets or doing any top end work. So you, you can get it out in the back, but it is oh so, so tight. Logan, you're the worst. Stop. A rocker box, backs, rocker box, rocker box, gigs, gigs. The thing is, Seth did that before we put the motor back in. Yeah. So a lot of times, maybe you got your sportsters a little sweaty. You gotta do some top end work. Do that before you put it in the frame. You can get the uh, rocker boxes off, but this rear one is a real bear once they're uh, in the hardtail frame. It does cinch down a little bit. Um, it's kind of odd. Some people say they can get them out. Some people can't. We've definitely got them out. And then you get guys that call it like, there is no way in hell this is ever coming out. I don't know that I always believe them. You just but, gotta file uh, it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, we've also had them come work. in where people just took a grinder to like the top fin. Either way, just save yourself the aggravation. If you're gonna do any of that work, do it before you put it back in your frame. If you're gonna put the big bore kit in too, yeah, you're, yes. gonna, you're gonna throw your S&S yes. &S big bore kit in. Do it, do it before. Yes. We're just gonna our, put all these. Our headlight right on the uh, ground. That's our best moving blanket. Well, now it's covered in chips. Oh, because it's got new sizes. <laughs> Look at this. No, no, you gotta clean that <laughs> off, you fucker. <laughs> what? I'm picking up all of these. Yeah, but who's gonna take all that crap off of Doesn't my Doesn't this magnet? one have like a button? <laughs> Turns it off, you forgot one. Does I mean, it have a turn off? Kind button? of a good idea, but now I just have to throw that away and buy another one from Harbor Freight. <laughs> Frame prep. Frame prep. I don't know. Dot com. I wanna make sure that like. Well, just look at you can see right through there. Use your eye holes. Look at. I see it. But if it won't go through this hole and we have a motor in here, you're gonna be really sad. Do you agree with me? I mean, not entirely, but. You don't agree with me. I mean, I just... <laughs> Are you just not agreeing with me for artificial <laughs> drama? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, I just don't really know what you're talking about. Like the motor's in, you're not gonna do any more drilling on that. So you're gonna have to take the motor out. Yeah, I'm not concerned about that though. You heard it here, people. <laughs> he is not concerned about it. If this motor has come out, I'm not helping you at all. <laughs> like for this wire, like I'm, I'm zero help. Yeah, no, brother's gonna be pissed when he give, you give him this. Oh, I know, you're not gonna wanna He's move gonna this. He's gonna be moving furniture and it's just got Metal shavings. Metal shavings. There, I fixed it. They're gone now. Good thing I didn't eat my weenies today. <sighs> oh yeah. I mean, I could have helped you, but. Remember which Can you side? grab that? Oh man. You're gonna have to cut that down. Now we have to do it. Oh, I slipped a disc. Lean the primary side down, get her to the edge of a bench. You want something ideally like this, where you can hang the frame off the side. We're going to lean her over. Wean her over. Lean her over. Get a little block under there. I got one hand on that. And you come over. Then you Deep loop the top over. to the primary side. And see, the key is that you're hanging over so that you got room to work under there. We need, need some more... Uh, more leanage. Some more leanage. Get her under there, cradle in. And then it's gonna come up. And then Bob's your uncle. Bob is your... There she is. And then you just hold her. You got it? Got her. Slam that some... should be the rear, yeah. Slam some bolts home. If I had one of those fancy you know, electric or air ratchets, things that we have like right over Oliver, there. Oliver, just <laughs> like 16 of them sitting. Yeah, it would've been a lot faster. Easy on the PC, do you know what that is? No. That's powder coat. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tightening bolts. Tightening. Just a video of tightening bolts. I'm tired of holding this. I want to do fun things. Stand her up. Upright! <laughs> oh, it's heavier now. This blanket's pissed me off. Stand back, admire our work. 
Boy, that's a nice hardtail Sportster chopper. I mean, now we gotta do some stuff. We probably wanna. If you wanna be cool like Seth and I, you can buy this hardtail kit at throttleaddiction.com. Get yourself one, pop off. Join the Cool Kid Club. Celebrate. Throttleaddiction.com. Link here, here, or here? Just do this. Or here. This is what I do. Then you know to get it. Link. Really, mine. yeah. Because see, the thing is, Seth really doesn't want this sitting on his lift I don't. for the next. I don't. Two I don't. weeks. Correct. That so is a hundred percent. This will be a roller. A hundred percent accurate. Rear wheel first. <clears throat> Rear wheel <gasps> first. Oh, you got her. Oh, this is a problem. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? <laughs> Had to take the motor back out because we got our fancy blanket in there. So your factory belt, being that we stretched the old hardtail kit, too short guys, too short. Two inches longer here on the hardtail kit. Chain conversion kit, option one, or if you're lazy like us, extended belt. Brought to you in part by throttleaddiction.com. Throttleaddiction.com. Feel good about that. Yeah, that was a good cut. Thank you. That was a good cut. It's a good brush that you have there, though. There's no more brush left. <laughs> it's kind of like you're using a screwdriver the, to apply that. All the bristles are gone. I just want to get it started. There you go. Rake. Calipa. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ow! Wish I had a dead blow. I'm through. Yeah. I'm through! That's beautiful. <laughs> I really do need a dead blow. Race. Ah, ah, ooh, ah. Rubber mallet. You just not you. Oh, I'm rubber malamois. I mean, now we can put a front end on. Yeah. Well, we should tighten this wheel. Stuff. Yeah. I was just getting excited. Um, but, bro, bro, that's that. That doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> that's that how that works. What? You don't put the brake? This is where it goes. You, you get a square here. I'm going to go to the bathroom. A little bit of a problem here. You're going to need to put that in there. We got our professionals. Spacers, calipers. All in there. Woo! That was easy. Now, brakes back in its home here. Right that spot. was easy. Okay. Let's take a moment to take hams for the refreshments. Then you can drink while I do it. Ah, a little back and yeah. forth action. It gives you time okay. to taste some of that delicious nectar. Hams, who still haven't called the sponsor us. So a weird. Little surprise. So weird. We haven't got the call. Little from them. surprised about that. I think they're probably intimidated. They're like, Maybe. we could never get those guys. Those, they're too good for us. That actually makes the most sense now that you say that. When you use our hardtail kit, this is the stock axle. Uh, a lot of guys are like, oh, what do I need a new axle? You can actually run the stock axle. These spacers are the stock uh, axle adjusters that are in your swing arm. And you just pop them out and there's a stud welded on there, cut them off, put them on each side, a nice space for these axle adjusters to push against. Use your stock axle. It's a little, little bit bigger, so if you want to use a um, custom one, you can definitely shore it up, but if you're cheap and want to use what you got, it's kind of designed just to run that way. It'll get you there. Right, yeah. I'll do okay. this and use my leverage. Leverage. There we go. Are you happy for Oh, no. Go faster. <laughs> Ow. Oh, I have my finger right on that nut. Ouch. Hey, Seth, do you, do you know that I got a new lathe yesterday? I heard um, that, that there was the there was some inside. rumbling. It's pretty big. It's over there. It's really it's not the size <laughs> of the lathe. That's more how you use it. <laughs> <laughs> I believe size is a substitution for skill. That is accurate. So what a woman once told me. That's accurate. She said I had neither. <laughs> <laughs> Let me look in my rear view mirror. So <laughs> As you know, beep, back this beep, up here. Beep. <laughs> Dirt. It was in a bag. This okay. from previous owner. Right. This is this is uh, original. Mm. This is OG dirt. Do you remember the OG guy's name? Um, Wayne. I feel mm. like he was a Wayne. They came out of the back of a music store. <laughs> 
in Rochester, which was just kind of weird. <laughs> in general? Yeah, it was like in his music shop, just a bone stock Sportster with 8,000 miles on it. Just sitting in his music shop. Yep. Probably got traded a grand piano for it. Uh, no, he bought it no. new. Did he really? Yeah. It was originally an 883, and then he put a big bore into it. Mm -hmm. Give it that 1,200 as they all say. cc's, just really letting her eat, bud. Okay. I'll get the heavy part here. <laughs> going forward, <laughs> going under. Oh, God, are we going to fall Don't off the table? Don't lose it. No, nope, so we're close. good. This is easy. Dude, Dude, six over. Dude, look at those tubes. Those are not tubes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud of that. But it, what? No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> nope. Nope. What? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Our friends do not need to see that what? action. What? <laughs> we, I we already are said I love. Oh, I know what the problem is. Do That's not. just mad I didn't get this one out. That's the problem. Like, <laughs> professionals would use a quick. <laughs> Just getting it snug, Seth. <laughs> killing me inside right now. Seth has a strict no crescent wrench policy. Except and it's fine because this is not a crescent wrench. It's a master force. Excuse me. No one else knows what that is. It's from Menard. They don't have all of our Midwest homies know they don't what it have, is. That's true. It's from Menards. Only our Midwest friends know what that is. If we're going to drive this thing, we need some risers. Let's go shopping. Let's go shopping. <laughs> for some risers throttleaddiction.com we could just Not walk out the there grass. and find them seth we're doing a bit oh sorry God. my bad fucking my run bad. or what With the let's teams. go take a look let's go let's go take shopping hmm. hey logan hey. just trying to find some handlebars what these ones 12 inches I like these. Let's see, risers. We're in here. Warmer, warmer, warmer. You're on fire. You're on fire. All right. We'll use those. Those are done. That was easy. Link to products in the description. Gotta do this. <laughs> Ow. You gotta turn your thing. All right, awesome. hold those bars there. That's oh, happened. Stop trying to hit me in the face. You know, our viewers here, Seth, they're probably saying, what kind of sweet bars are those, bro? They are, we and, didn't even tell them. And I will say, don't do that. Loosen, please. You're too far to that way. And I will tell them, these are Throttle Addiction Vintage Ape Hanger Handlebars. Probably gonna end up cutting them down because you know there's a little extra, little extra go there that, doesn't need to be there if we're not running controls. Wait, I feel like that we're not ready for that. No, this, we're done. That's <laughs> Ride it, bud. That's too soon. Ride it out, bud. That's too soon. What are we doing? What does it all mean? whoop de doo Basil. What does it all mean? I'm not sure our brake hose is quite going to get <laughs> go the distance here. No? No, she's about eight miles short. No, come on. Looks like a motorcycle-ish. Yeah. What had happened was, it's right there, use your eye holes. I. It's that gigantic thing that looks like a spring. Listen, Seth, not all of us can see. <laughs> Clearly. Oh yeah. She's ready to come down. Do we want to ramp or you want to wheelie it off? Drum, drum, drum. You don't have any brakes. <laughs> no brakes. Move my butt. Oh, look at that. Kick Look at stand. that. Kickstand works. And let it be known that your kickstand, stock kickstand. Just saving you money. Works. Saving, saving money. you money. That's you what we time. do around here at Saving you saving time. Saving you time. Saving money. Make it easy on you. Turn you into a chopper daddy with minimal effort. Looking cool. Saving money. Yep. There you go. Boop. No, I don't know how well that Yeah, it's good enough. I'll just, I'm going to lean. <laughs> your seat's falling out. All right. I mean, I, I was feeling it for a minute. Yeah. We're basically done. It's a yeah, roller, it's as they a roller. say. Yeah. And with that, 
roll out.